Hi, this is Danielle Zana here. Um, basically, I'm rather cheesed off, pissed off, mad, fuming, and um, because of the money disease. And um, see, the thing is, you know, um, I was very. I've actually had downloaded or had been using a crack version of you. Um, and um, apparently it kind of like stops working uh, once in a while and uh, you have to like reinstall it so um, I think it's because I've disabled certain programs that it runs in the background when you boot up your machine and I uh, done it to, s to speed up machi my machine and obviously you've got like to reinstall it again because of this um, sort of like legal gobbledygook software that makes uh, a decent application non-functional so what I thought I'd do is um, uh, you know because I'm wanting to work a bit more with it you know this scene in the background behind these characters that was done in view in the crack version and I thought you know I want to do a bit more landscaping and things like that with the 3D and then perhaps um, use that in my recent work to speed things up you know um, so then I just basically draw the characters um, so I have like a blend of 2D characters or well painted characters on background because it takes quite a while to actually paint your background so I'm wanting to actually produce more art rapidly and um, with finer details and having to just paint them all from scratch which takes um, approximately you know um, <laughs> can go on for about a month or two just on one digital painting now I decided to get the program, um, the uh, science fiction one, you know, create your own 3D world, basically what I want, uh, because, you know, I'm very much of a sci-fi fan, I like extraterrestrials, spaceships, exotic planets and things like that, um, they, they also like, you know, um, and the thing is, it's very misleading. It's very misleading. Uh, once you <laughs> once you buy it and install it, it's very basically what it is. It's kind of like uh, sort of like a slightly marked up from the Pioneer version, which is the free version, which is very limited, and then you you have watermarks in your pictures. But this doesn't have any um, watermarks, and you can render. Um, any kind of size image, which is okay. Um, you know, it says it gives you all this. Uh, that one is true. Uh, that one's true. That one's true. Um, it, I that isn't true. It includes plenty of science fiction content. That is actually a lie, because apparently the content um, is very limiting than, than what what it says here. Um, and I'm really disappointed um, with that um, because the content is not really included. It's basically um, I'll load the program and I'll show you. So I'm going to load the here. This is the crack one, and that's the the sci-fi one. So I'll load it up. I just hope I haven't deleted what I've been working with. I just basically just stop saying it's completely legal and everything and um, well legal is just a bloody illusion anyway I'll not okay. what I do is I'll open so you've got to browse so these are all preset themes right um, however the ones with the little thingamajig on um, say if I wanted to get that and work with that um, you get that and connect and then it gives you like you gotta buy the damn thing which is very very similar to um, when you look at this it's very similar to um, the thing that they had 
it's a part because it's, it's basically I think it's a safe prop which has been modified for um, um, Prometheus. This is actually <laughs> you think about it, Prometheus must have used this, modified it, and changed all of that because it's got all the shapes. But uh, see, they nine dollars. So I, I basically just bought this program. I don't want to spend any more money, which really sucks anyway. So I thought, okay, I'll just make my own scene. Um, click on that. Um, go desktop. Yeah, I've got it there. Yeah, this one I made. Just with the the props and things that don't have the little doodah. Um. There we go. I actually made that just to kind of, I was just basically messing around with it. But um, I want to add in some another object. Now this is where the problem comes in. Um, you know, an object that's not on the menu. Um, so when you go object, um, great. So I'm just the import thing, object thing. Right, um, say if I want to import something. And I'm going to open. Um, no, no, I don't want to do that. So I want to go file, um, import objects. And I want to go and go one of my models um, that I sometimes use with the poser. So if I go to you know, program files, wrong, wrong, wrong drive. Program files, right? Curse Labs. Um, I think click outside. Well, I thought sci-fi abstract. So, no, that is a um, take on um, um, Cheese plants. I oh, know about that. Um, it only wants VOD files, so we have a bit of a problem here. It's not reading me. So what I do is I cancel that, keep that open, and then I'll go to crack clone. Oh, that's because it crashed <laughs> because of the money disease. Um, no. Say so if I want to go, see, so you've got the import object. There, you've got your your different things. So, the computer. So, because the other program only allows Bob um, things. So, um, wrong drive. Wrong drive. Um, program files. Close labs. Outside the pose of geometries. Um, say right. Um, I, I want to use that. Right. Um, that object file. So it loads it in. So there you have the, the model. Right. Now I want to get that model and I want to put a new get the other scene. Right, so I go file and uh, save object. So when that does it in the Bob thing, it's on the desktop and then I save it. So try to, to thinking about perhaps compatibility. It's kind of like disable those. And ah, it looks like it's exported. No. So, what I go and do is I thought, all right, I will go and import the object now. There we go. It's a valid format. And, oh no! Look what I get here. Yeah. This version of Beauty Game is like you have uh, replaced by dummy objects. You want to go through the import module. 
So basically your object doesn't load so you get this bullshit. Can't be mode so So basically you're stuck. You can't do fuck all but just use the, the presets. This is fucking pissing. So I thought well why don't I why don't I save the scene? So I decide to save the scene. Full of black. Well, actually, derp. Derp. Derpy derp. 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 So I save the scene. And um, close the program. Um, and I try and uh, open it with this one. What do I get? So what do I get? Shows up on there. Oh, warning! The final attempt below is a much more recent version of the product. What do you want to do? Try load the file. Now. And what happens is it just crashes. It crashes. The program literally crashes. So I can't add an object and then swap between the programs. So. This is so I close the program. This is, this, is, this is like really so I thought you know um maybe I would do this instead. So I thought I'd go that open that and um open so I can you know probably do the load the, the basic objects in here um, that I want to use and build around them. So that's another method to do it. So what I'll do is um, file import object. So I'll put that in. And I thought I'll save the scene. Hurt P. Hurt. So I'll save it in my program. So I'll save it. Um, so is it. So let me try and open it with this now. File open. Click on that. Desktop. Happy one. See it loads there. Boom. Get the same kind of bullshit with the license car. So basically, um, they're trying to force you to get these modules. Okay, where's the import? Um, it's kind of something. Did I break the program? It's just, it's not got the import module, but, but anyway. It's kind of like. Okay, unless, uh huh, unless uh, mods. So, oh, so unless I can go back here, uh, modules, modules, see what happens. Mm. I thought there was modules here. Ah, tools. What the fuck? U11 tools, modules. Okay. 
change that Where the fuck did I have the modules? Okay. Okay. Um, C program file Eon Eon. <laughs> um, modules Eon software should be showing modules. Going on here. This is this is madness. This shouldn't be affecting Windows Explorer. This just what the fuck? Seriously? Um, oh, application. I'm not browsing in the right place. Oh no no no. Ah, oh, that's why. <laughs> Programs. Uh, Eon software. Extreme modules. Um, right. It's in my documents modules. And they don't have it there. Oh really? This is this is annoying. Uh, That just seems um because I already need to fix this because say also when I actually open my older scenes um I think it's on now yeah, these are my older scenes. It also gives me the same crap. So that's, that's what I use in the background. So it also gives me say all those spaceships and things and <laughs> kind of like you move. Now this is this is shit. I feel I've wasted money. And there is no eleven crack or anything like that to fix this. Oh, um, I'm going to try this. Well, apparently, because the program is not really wanting to do things what I want to do. So, what I'm going to see if I can go program files, um, Eon software modules. Unless I copy all of that. See what happens. Now there's a I just try just do don't cop don't copy and then I try loading See what happens. Yeah, it didn't work. It work. It didn't work. It didn't work. And we have to buy the module. And the module that I that I need is to not there. Um, I think it's. It's on that. 
it's got these things. It's kind of like the one the the the, the, the import thing doesn't. It's kind of like disappeared, which is weird. So. It's so weird. So, uh, to, to be honest. Oh. Don't know what happened to all the other shit module crap. Oh, there we go. See, that's the one. That's what I was looking for. Look at that fucking hunter. Just to import objects? Seriously? I don't have that money anymore. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Do you think they'll have at least a basic dot object file import option? Oh. That's what I was say at the moment. It's really annoying. So yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna just continue mucking around with the program. I just do something fun or um yeah, that's what I do.